in the last class we have studied about the key activities of physical distribution now in this class we'll try to study the support activities of physical distribution there are some main activities and there are some support activities and how they can contribute to to the competitive edge of the for the company over the competitors so the key activity let us recap the key activities we have studied in the last class is customer service the transportation management the inventory management of finished goods and the information processing and the order processing information management and order processing now the support activities of physical distribution logistics management are warehousing and storage of finished goods materials handling protective packaging the plant warehouse or distribution center location where they should be located and goods are returned for many reasons so return goods handling and if they are unserviceable or they are damaged so their salvage and scrap disposal and the information maintenance so these are the some of the support activities in the physical distribution let us go in detail warehouse and storage warehousing most material into storage once the material has been finished good has been produced by the manufacturing plant it is moved to the finished good warehouse where it is stored and it is uh, taken care of till it is order comes and it is supplied to the consumer many material will need special care such as frozen food drugs chemicals etc etc so they need, need special care in terms of temperature or in terms of environment light etc it should be make, made sure that materials are made uh, available easily when they are needed warehousing make sure that they are the, uh, they have the right condition and the treatment and packaging to keep them in good condition so material should be stored not only stored they should be stored in the good condition so uh, in terms of temperature in terms of uh, other environment also another support activity is materials handling so material handling is a two in two parts when the finished good is produced from the manufacturing plant so it is handled by material handling different types of material handling equipments are there we have already studied in the materials management they are need to be moved to the finished good warehouse and and then it is stopped once order customer order is received they need to be picked up and they need to be handled again and brought back brought to the area of staging area or packaging area so material handling most material through operations within an organization it moves material from stores to the point where they are needed efficient movement with short journey using appropriate material handling equipments with little damage and using special packaging and handling where they are needed the third support activity is packaging so packaging these are the protective packaging packaging should be done so that the material during transportation does not get damaged it is protected so typically materials for a customer order located identified checked and removed from the racks and consolidated into a single load or multiple load wrapped and packaged and moved to the departure area for loading onto the vehicle see this is another support activity in the physical for the physical distribution plant or warehouse site location is another support activity another support activity so a 
stock of finished goods can be put into a warehouse near to the customer to find the best location size and number of facilities these are the important decisions that affect affect overall design of the supply chain return goods handling salvage and storage scrap disposal when the products have been delivered to the customer work of logistics may is not ending there might be problem with delivered product such as faulty product or too many product delivered or wrong product delivery they have to be collected back or there are materials that cannot be used again but they are brought back for safe disposals such as dangerous chemicals etc activity that return material back to an organization called reverse logistics or reverse reverse logistics so this is also part of the physical distribution forward logistics means material finished product going to the customer and reverse logistics is a faulty Uh, material or wrong material delivered is returned back to the finished good warehouse is called reverse logistics or reverse transport by port information maintenance finally information maintenance especially the collection storage data analysis control procedure of information supports all other logistics activity that it provides the needed information for planning and control so there is a different cost trade off required in the logistics marketing department is concerned with the promotion of the product at a particular price whereas the physical distribution is concerned with the total cost reduction the total cost reduction is total cost components are transportation cost warehousing cost inventory carrying cost packaging cost material handling cost order processing cost etc so the total cost needs to be minimized so that the total product cost is less so this is a cost trade off in logistics this is on this class